Now, I used to be a waiter many years ago trying to find my golf and get by on life. Uh, I w was I good at it? I don't know. I have to see if any of you watching and recognize me as a waiter back in Bowen, UK, leave a really nasty comment below. But anyway, I used to be a waiter and this drill, uh, this thought is about holding a tray in your right hand. This has been used so many times over and over again. This isn't a revelation but it's a really nice little thought that I think will help a lot of you to uh, you know, perhaps even eradicate a slice or just have a nice more, uh, a slightly more rounded golf swing that you feel a little bit more in control of without detracting too much from the task of just striping and cutting the grass in the direction that you want. Now, when, what I'm talking about is holding a tray with the right hand. A lot of you will be a little bit too steep here, will be a bit too laid off here. You know, where, however we make our journey up to the backswing, whether it's coming from the inside and then picking it up, or whether it's from the outside, picking it, like dropping it down. This, when we have to reroute a lot of the time, it's gonna cause some very unusual golf shots, especially if uh, you know, you're not practicing a lot to be able to hone that in. So the little thought that I want to give you is simply by as if you're holding a tray from the right side here. So we're not completely holding a tray like that. That's a little bit too much because you're going to find yourself a little bit like uh, DJ there, which is fine if you're DJ, but perhaps not for you. So I want you to just feel like you're able to hold a bit more of a tray just subtly. You can see that there's a bit of an angle in my hand. so. I mean, some of the stuff is going to fall off, but not all of it. So what I want there is you to just place the left hand on the top and feel like, hopefully, you should feel like you've made a bit more of a rounded golf swing, but you're sort of staying in front of yourself a little bit more here. And the idea of that is it should keep you nicely on plane and with a pretty consistent move and sensation. So if we go down to the full swing here, we want to try and make that move feeling that right hand as holding the tray underneath like that. You can even make some practice swings not holding the club fully with the right hand. And that's gonna give you the right feel. Okay, so just start off with some nine, eight, seven irons, something like that. We're not trying to do anything really big, but take some practice swings. One, to feel that holding the tray. Two, and let's try and execute a goal shot there. Not bad, I got a little bit stuck through the ball because I'll tell you now, I was focused too much on that position. So what happened, what happened was as I came through and down that ball, I kind of, my objective stopped and I ended up sort of hitting it a bit flat footed and flipping through. And it was because I st even doing a drill, you have to really tell your brain what you're trying to do. So now I'm going to pick my target more. Okay, there's a flag just there. The wind is in two, as you can hear. We're a bit right to left. I'm going to put the ball back in my stance a little bit. I'm going to stand a little bit closer to hopefully keep it down. But I'm still going to feel that right tray, the holding the tray and feeling like I'm keeping it there through the ball. So now I'm going to really trust that I can extend through to the target that way. So holding the tray. A little bit better. So try that tray drill just to help you shallow out your golf swing a little bit and maybe even hit some draws. Now, what we're going to, I'm just using a golf club initially, don't you try this, but don't whack into the ball at home, cause any holes. Too many of you will perhaps whip the club on the inside and then lift up. This is quite a good guide, just to feel like we're not going to sort of hit that wall too low down. But likewise, we don't want to be picking it up and then whacking into it, on the, we, don't want, or we don't want to be missing it completely. All right, it's just a general guide to make sure that the arms are sort of staying in front of us, and there's not too much manipulation required, either going back or going forward. So the slot we're talking about is 
with the butt just slightly off the wall, okay, I want you to make a turn, but we're not trying to make a big rotation. Uh, we're just opening up the chest a little bit here. And what we're trying to do is feel that the right forearm and the back of the right hand are actually able to touch the wall. If you find that a bit restrictive, what we need to do is open up the hips, turn up, open the foot, voila, and it, you suddenly got a lot nearer. Because you might find yourself kind of getting to here and like, ah, oh, I can't, I can't get to there. So all we do is open that up. Much, much easier, effortless, really. And from this sort of position, what's happening is we've got a nice sort of coil, but it's coming from the core. We're not just lifting the hands. We're not just trying to turn the shoulders too much. We, we've got a nice sort of rotation and coil to the, to, you know, getting behind it. And that's what we want. We're getting behind it. Because from there, when we get behind the shot, we can actually sort of wait as we come down. So we're not getting trapped. We're not having to reroute. We're not trying to do anything crazy. We can just wait, keep the back to the target, and then just release the hands through. When you're trying to create this shape of a golf swing that you see on television or whatever, a lot of you would be drawing the arms back here to try and make that turn, to try and get that sort of full golf swing. But there's two key things I want to talk about. That really, what we're looking for in the goal string is a turn and an elevation. Doesn't mean we're coming sort of disjointed, but that's how the arms move. The arms don't really move naturally there. Because if I show you this way, if I have my arms in front and I try and turn around this without turning my upper body, see that bent position? That's what a lot of you will get into. So I see a lot of this, and then from there, it's going to be really hard to make a golf shot. And if I asked you to throw a club, if I asked you to do pretty much anything else in life, this is not where you'd be. You would have a lot more width if you were trying to throw this club. You'd be out here trying to throw it. So the reason why that is because you're drawing your arms across your body. You're getting into this position, and you're just getting stuck. But if we start thinking about the golf swing on uh, how the arms actually move naturally, which is up in this direction, okay, and there's a perfect drill that we can do, but there's a checkpoint I'm gonna show you in a second. All we need to do is raise those arms in front. I can still sort of see the ball. My right arm is folded, but my arms are in front. And then from this position, all I do is turn my hips and my body, and I've made a perfect goal swing. But here's the checkpoint. If I turn to face back towards you now, the arms are back in front of my body. So I can come, raise them up again. The upper forearms are still sort of touching the body here, but then I can make another turn. And then I've made a perfect backswing, if you will. I turn my body, and there, the, there they are again. But I can guarantee that if you were to do your normal swing, which was here, and then you try and turn around, so, we try and turn around, I'm in this different position. I can't make the same type of swing. So the arms really, all they're doing is this. So this is the perfect drill that you can do to feel this nice feeling of a golf swing. But the key, I'm gonna show you this way, is we're not just going straight up. It's a little bit to the side, so as if we're going over your right shoulder. The wrists are hinging. The right arm is folding just a little bit and then we're making that turn. And then from there, we can make a golf swing. So the perfect drill is to try and make this arms raised golf swing. Okay, so I'm just gonna get into this position. I'm gonna raise the club up. I'm gonna turn, and then we're gonna swing. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do that in real time. Now, you might wanna start off with a shorter club or off the tee peg just to give yourself a bit of a fighting chance. But I'm gonna try and do this live. I haven't hit any shots really today. So this is the test. Okay, so I've got my position in the golf swing. I'm feeling braced. I can feel the weight of the club. Club comes up, keeping my forearms and my upper arms against my chest still. The club's being raised. Then I turn and then I swing. Caught that a little bit clean, 
but I still got myself into a half decent placement in the backswing. So let's try another. Okay, so we raise the club up. It's basically the right arm only drill. This is such a very simple thing, but it can really give you a nice sensation to realize that once you get your address position to feel like you've got freedom with your right arm just to swing backwards and through backwards and forwards here i've got freedom i'm not adjusting i'm not folding the arm the arm is just hanging from its socket from an athletic position okay we can even hold the club here just to show you that but now i'm just turning back and through and this is going to give me a nice wide goal swing you know we can even sort of uh I don't like to say force, but we can emphasize it, that feeling by holding the left arm underneath the right tricep here. So we sort of keep our arms in front of the body, but now we're just turning backwards and forwards, turning that rib cage backwards and forwards with freedom. So we can have the goal swing that is wide, that is smooth, that has uh, tempo without you know, worrying anything about wrist hinge, uh, plane or anything like that, because from this setup position, we have already determined the plane. The length of the club will predetermine the plane for the most part. So if we're allowing our body to hang naturally, letting the arm to hang naturally, and then we're just turning backwards and forwards, you can see, oh, I'm on plane. Then we're back at the ball with consistency. I have room to swing. And now I let the body rotate and clear itself through out to a nice full swing. So once you do that a few times, you should be able to have the sensation, like now we do it with the club. So we do it with the club to get those full swings. Now, I don't need to do this at full speed, but okay, I need to get my intermediate point. So we have a, a, a there's like a divot just here, I'm going to the right of it. I'm gonna hit a slight draw here. So it's gonna be a little bit more rounded. That's the feel that I want to hit. So my strategy is a slight draw. My swing is gonna be a little bit more rounded. And that's why this drill should hopefully have really helped that sensation. So I go round. Caught a little bit clean, but that looks pretty close to me. A little bit long because the winds moved downwind, but it did what I needed to do. I probably got stuck a little bit and that's where I evaluate. That's where I have to really understand why did I evaluate? Maybe subconsciously I was thinking, well, this is going to go too long. So I kind of quit on it a little bit and my lower body stopped and I just sort of swung my arms through. But because everything else was had room and was rotating, it turned out OK. So give that drill a try create some room for yourself and feel a nice wide rounded goal swing and you can practice that at home if you need be as well. In lessons, online lessons, whatever it might be, questions, everyone's thinking they need a huge big backswing, got to make a full turn, okay, got to make a full turn. But what if you're not that flexible? What if uh, you're a bit more experienced in life. What if it's winter and you're a little bit cold, whatever it might be? Um, you know, trying to make a full backswing is kind of like a lot of pressure in a way, because it's, it's always this feel of restriction. I've got to complete my backswing. And yes, you can do it in two ways. You can sort of make a, you know, a longer backswing by having looser arms, heavy arms, or whatever it might be. You can do it that way. But if you're trying to do it mechanically, um, I don't know why I did that, because I just meant mechanically. Uh, you can have a tendency to be a bit restricted. And the reason why I'm filming this, because I saw it the other day uh, on an online lesson sp specifically, and a good goal swing, but very sort of restricted, trying to, okay, I've got to make this full turn, got to make this full turn. And you can see the tension. And what happens is, it's almost like all that tension is built up trying to make the full turn. And then it's like, there's no more energy left so it sort of becomes just a, a sort of hit at the ball and something like that. 
A little bit exaggerated, but that's the general gist. And that sort of shoulder turn thinking you've got to get the, the body, you know, 90 degrees. Well, look, Rory McIlroy does it, whatever. Great, good for him. And if you can do it, fine. Um, just to sort of rewind a little bit, there are some little tweaks we can do to assist the turn. We've got other videos on it, but just quickly, you know, we don't want to be resisting the lower body and turning the upper body. That's not going to help your back. It's not going to help your golf game. It's not going to do anything. So really feel free that you can allow the, the hips to sort of pull back up, that you can have that rotation coming back up to clear out the way. So from that side, we're feeling like there is that turn here. So we've got that turn, so those hips are able to, to sort of clear out the way. And what happens is the backswing can, it just flows a little bit easier. And to make that even easier, you can just turn out your right foot, okay, just by doing that. So from here, I turn out the right foot, I've suddenly got more of a backswing. Very, very easy. So that's a little sort of tweak uh, that you can try just to give you a little bit more flow and freedom in the backswing. All right, so what am I talking about today? A lot of thought is about got to get that left shoulder under, got to turn the upper body. Now, I do like the sensation for a lot of you to, to feel like you're turning the core. Again, there's a video on that. I'll try and um, remember to click, uh, put it in the description uh, or above. But feeling like we're turning the core here actually helps complete a, more than a, enough of a backswing anyway for us. But when we're, a lot of you, when you're trying to, you know, get that full turn, we're sort of distracted from the momentum that we need and the, the simplicity of the swing and how short a movement it has to be. When in actuality, even without a club here, just holding the arm, all I'm going to think about Instead of turning all of this upper body, turning the shoulders, you know, making this big rotation, all I'm going to think about is feeling like the, the chest, my right pec, that my chest is just opening up. That's all I'm doing. I'm opening up my right chest, feeling that sort of stretch here. And it's, it's, you know, it feels like a three-inch sort of movement. That's all I'm doing. It's a three-inch movement to feel like I'm making a backswing. So, and I tell you, that feels a lot, um, you know, I feel like I'm gonna repeat that a lot more frequently, making a three inch sort of movement with my, my chest, opening it up here, than I am feeling like I've gotta turn this whole upper body and then bring it back through. If it's just this movement there, it's a lot more straightforward, a lot less can go wrong but it's still pretty much the same fundamental movement, all right? So I want you to practice just that sensation. And you're almost going to feel like your left um, side is staying where it is. But just from here, just turn that right side open. And you know, you only have to swing to here. If you need a bit more movement, that's fine. Like um, opening up the hips a little bit more and to get to here. And that, and that should do you just fine, all right? So just some of those movements there. I'm not sure if that's gonna pick it up, but let me demonstrate one for you. So the normal sort of swing would be trying to make a full turn like that, okay? Kind of, I mean, I exaggerated a little bit there, but that was the general idea. So the only feel I'm gonna do different now, I'm not exactly in the right spot here because there's a little bit of a dent in the mat. But on this, um, and what I'm going to do is a practice swing. It's just feeling like that right side is opening up. And that's my only swing thought. I mean, yeah, I've got other stuff going on, but this is just a drill. And that felt a more efficient, sort of shorter, easier goal swing, less going on. And it was just that feeling of pulling that chest open a little bit. Okay? So, give that a try. If you have any questions, let me know, but I think it will help quite a lot of you to simplify that backswing and make life a little bit easier for you. Uh, a lot more than what you're being, you know, trying to accomplish. It's not about where the hands are going so much. You can't control every time where the wrists are moving, how the elbows are folding, where, where, you know, we can't think about the minutiae. 
So let's simplify it, especially when we're on the golf course. Now, this is something that I've been having to try and do myself um, to fix a bit of a fault, but it's, you know, it's very effective for all levels of golfer. Now, Ian, my colleague, actually pointed out that I was doing this. And what I was doing was basically, as I was making my backswing, I was coming, you know, my, my shoulder plane, depending on what club you have, it always varies because driver is out here, wedge is out here. But let's just kind of go like seven, eight iron neutral sort of position. The, the, the backswing was much too sort of shallow. You know, my, my shoulders are coming that way and that's excessive. It wasn't quite that much. But from here, I'd have to sort of reroute kind of back at the ball. And this is the fault that a lot of people have is as they're swinging, you know, that we're sort of raising up out of it and then kind of have to get that movement back to it. There's excessive movement. But if we allow the body to sort of turn and tilt at the same time and stay, you know, and, and have a thought that is dead simple to repeat that movement, to be able to get the ball, to get the club back at the ball as frequently as possible with the least amount of sort of resistance and thought and effort, the better it's going to be. And the way we do that is, let's take an alignment stick here. You don't even need it, but I'm just using it for a visual. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn but trying to get that stick at the ball now i know you've heard about this before you go from there and then we're sort of bringing it back through that's the sensation that i want but the thought is left shoulder down right shoulder down that's the movement that i want left shoulder down right shoulder down but the key here is to not feel that the head is going down so it's not like this we don't want that You've got to make sure that you're maintaining the sort of head height. But it's left shoulder down, right shoulder down. We have a, a, a swing, a video that's talking about how if you just move your right shoulder back five to six inches that way, okay? If you move it back five to six inches that way, you've made a, you made a golf swing, you've made a back swing. But the, the slight issue with that is if you have a tendency to sort of pull up out of it, that's what's going to happen. So we almost want a combination of feeling like that's going back, okay? But that left shoulder is going down. And we're then replacing it with left shoulder down, right shoulder down. And then from there, you're going to be able to deliver with the right arm. You're going to be able to deliver, you know, a nice sort of compressed movement. Even if you're not swinging fast, you can do this kind of golf swing, a nice sort of three quarter sort of movement like that. Very simple thoughts to have out on the golf course. Left shoulder down, right shoulder down. Making sure that everything's still turning, but smooth at the same time. So, let's give this a little bash, shall we? There's my private plane just coming to pick me up in a moment. So, all I'm thinking about here is left shoulder down. I'm only going to do a three-quarter swing, but it's left shoulder down, right shoulder down. And I got that nicely, middle of the green, no problem. Dead simple, okay? So give that a try. Left shoulder down, right shoulder down. Let me know how you get on. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Like and subscribe to the channel and follow that link because it's gonna give you down there, it's gonna give you a wonderful series to help every sort of department of your game. And uh, I can't wait to hear you know, how this has helped you. And uh, come and check out the website and uh, the community that we have over there. See you next time.